Hi everyone, it's Chris. Welcome back to my parlour. And today I'm going to do a angel reading for you for the next eight and a bit weeks until the end of the year. It's almost upon us, so 2024 is approaching quite quickly. <laughs> so what are you going to be doing for the next eight and a bit weeks to um, manifest or finalise take off pause put on pause whatever's going to be happening for next year do you need to finalize something this year or do you need to start planning for next year so i'm going to be using um influence of the angels today some possibilities um an energy focus for the next few weeks and a little card from this deck here I also found this yesterday, and I was really quite pleased to find it. So I'm going to flip through the pages to find a, an affirmation for you, for one, two, or three, whichever one um, you consider is your deck. So the deck of possibilities is here for each of you. We're going to share Influence of the Angels Tarot. And we're going to share the energy focus deck. And we're going to share <laughs> this one here. But I think the possibilities are more important for you at the moment. Because it's going to emphasise what is going to be happening for the next few weeks. What you probably <laughs> need to consider. So let's pour a cup of tea. I've got my new teapot today. Just to get the energy flowing. So one, two or three. You decide which one you want and then we'll head off to the reading. Number one. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> what would you like to know? What's happening for you at the moment? So let's have a look at your possibilities and see what might be happening for you. So possibilities. And then we'll clarify the possibilities the next few weeks oh the year's going so fast but this is yours number one so the possibilities for you number one are let's have a look a few cards here we have I'll go through them with you and then we'll find out what they are you've got quite a few cards here to do with love to do with stability but the, a decision needs to be made and a financial decision needs to be made or finances are coming through for you and a decision will need to be made about what you're going to do with those finances because this is like um, frozen um, assets being released so there's been some money put aside for something um, or something is being finalized on a financial issue that has been in um in suspense, suspense for a while, suspended animation, I should say. Um, so something is definitely on the horizon on the financial level, and you'll need to decide then what you're going to do with it. So something has. We've got the frozen Charlotte here, so that indicates that money has been frozen for some reason. But there's certainly going to be some sort of release of those funds for you and for you to decide what you're going to do with them you may or may not know the funds are there you may have forgotten about them um, but someone or something is going to remind you of this you might receive a letter because there's a letter coming 
It says a love letter here, but that's also could indicate an emotional response to the amount of money that comes through for you. So you may get an indication through a letter, through a solicitor's letter perhaps, or through a bank letter, through um, someone that, a financial advisor, could even win the lottery, who knows. Um, but it's certainly going to aid, aid you emotionally because it's going to be a very, very important amount of money coming through for you. Could be released by the end of the year. Or you may need to start considering how to um, um, utilise your assets better, especially if you are robbing Peter to pay Paul but it's certainly coming through as an indication that money is on its way to you. You need to decide how to spend it. You need to decide how to budget. And it's going to come through, the information is going to come through um, a letter. So somewhere formal. It's going to lead to a lot of stability. A lot of stability. Someone loves you. Someone loves you deeply. And maybe a secret admirer. It's going to reveal themselves to you. Or there could be a love letter. Or it could be money coming from someone that loves you. Someone that perhaps has passed away. Perhaps through um, a... Um, what do you call it? Bequeath of money. Someone's um, leaving some money to you. Or it could be a letter from someone who loves you. It depends on your circumstances, of course, and what you wish to convey with that with that card. So dream big, number one. Whatever's coming through for you, it's going to change your ability to alter your future. So dream big. You could get enough money to buy a house. You could get enough money to go travelling. You could get enough money to change jobs. You could get enough money to go part-time um, or start your own business. A lot of things come through here with this amount of money that's coming through for you. So dream big. Dream big. Let's clarify some of those cards for you. First of all, I'm going to give you a focus card. What can you focus on with all this money coming in? Certainly going to be stabilising. So if you're feeling a little bit unsure, uncertain of the future, by the end of the year you'll know where you're headed. You'll know how to get there. You'll know what to expect when you get there. And you'll know how to expand on circumstances and experiences and opportunities. So next year could be the door opens for you in a whole way that perhaps even now you can't quite comprehend, but um, it's coming. So let's have a look at your focus card. Feeling safe. Feeling safe comes with, with feeling secure, finding your space, finding your niche, finding where you feel as though you belong. So this is definitely a place for you where you feel as comfortable as you can be. So by next year, you're going to be in a situation where you feel as though you belong, where you feel safe, where you can lay down roots, where you can come home and just feel, ah, oh, yes, this is where I belong. So let's clarify <clears throat> some of these cards, shall we? Ten of Pentacles, a great card to indicate a time of success, a time of completion, a feeling as finally everything's just fallen into place for you. It's been hard work. It's not guaranteeing that things are just going to fall into your lap, but it's certainly going to be worthwhile. All the effort, all the worry, all the all the stuff that you've been doing, it's certainly going to be worthwhile. And you feel as though 
you finally um, found and made peace with yourself, with your life, with those around you, with your situation. So that's a really good card to indicate, yes, things are moving in your direction. But when you make your decisions, make them on a more practical level. Don't overthink things, but think through thoroughly. Does that make sense? So once you've made a decision, stick to it. Don't go around changing your mind. Otherwise, you'll restrict your opportunities. Because you, when you made a decision, the universe thinks, yes, this is the right one for you. This is where the universe will start providing signs and leading you in the right direction. If you change your mind halfway through it, you're going to get yourself in all sorts of kerfuffle <laughs> and restrict yourself. So try and make the decision based on your, your thoughts and your emotions. Yes, you're going to combine them quite nicely. But once you've made the decision, make it. Don't go around changing your mind each five minutes. Okay, so otherwise you'll feel confined and you'll feel as though, oh, Jeez, <laughs> making all these decisions but nothing's happening is because the universe is confused as well as you are. So make your decision and make it final. Now don't be scared of this card. People get scared of this card and they think, oh no, oh no, oh no. But don't get scared of it <clears throat> because the Ten of Swords means that finally things are on a completion. Your mind will start to clear it's very important that once you've made the decision that you let go of any woulda, coulda, shouldas or should I have done this differently? Would it make a difference if I did this? Because it just confuses you, it confuses the universe. So stop, make the decision, then let go of anything that um, adds to or concerns you enough to think, oh, I don't know, because you don't want to be confined anymore, do you? You don't want to be confined anymore. Because something definitely is finalising in your favour. The hard work is done. Let the mind games end. Let the mind games end. Don't worry about what anybody else says either. Let them worry about themselves. Their future is not your future. Your future is not theirs. You're doing what you want to do, so let go of all those mind games, okay, especially your own, and allow the ending to promote a new beginning. Does that make sense? Does that make sense for you? Because you've got a good you've got a good thing going here, number one. Um, don't allow self doubt either to creep in. And definitely do not worry about what other people think. It's your future, not theirs. Let them worry about their own. There are some people that just can't be pleased. Some people just are so jealous of your ability to move on that they want to hold on to you. But you don't let them. <laughs> it's really important not to let them. So let's have a look and see what daily guidance from the angels has in store for you, what you think about. I'm going to flip through the pages. <laughs> okay. Know that we are proud of you. I'm not going to read all through that because there's such a lot there to read through. But I will read through the affirmation. Thought for today. Okay. Thought for the day. I feel good about being who I am. And I deserve my esteem and that of others. My angels are proud of me. I acknowledge myself for all that I am and everything I've done. Definitely. Definitely today. Because everything you've done would lead you to a sense of security and comfort and a feeling of, of a job well done. So long as you don't allow others to interfere in that, let bygones be bygones. Once it's over, it's over. Okay, Don't dwell on anything else. It's over. Otherwise, if you keep changing your mind, you'll be restricted. So you've got so much potential here. 
go for it. Let's have a look and see. It's love life. <clears throat> so I'm going to shuffle these for you. Find one that's just right for you. To end your reading. Let's see what that one says. Let's see what it says, shall we? Let's crack it open. I'll read it for you. Let your mind be quiet, realizing the beauty of the world and the immense and the immense, the boundless treasures that it holds in store. Especially when it comes to these two cards. These two cards especially. Let your mind be quiet. Realising the beauty of the world and the immense, the boundless treasures that it holds in store. Does that make sense for you today? I hope so. Someone loves you so much. I just... Oh, it's, it's just such a fun, like, finally feeling as though things are falling into place for you and it brings about stability and some money coming your way. So be content with that. And hopefully next year will be your year. So thank you, number one. Number two, did you choose a second deck of cards? Let's have a look at your reading today, shall we? Let's have a look at the possibilities first. Let's see what might be coming through for you. The focus. Then an affirmation. And then love your life card. Possibilities for number two, please. What are those possibilities? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Oh, some good stuff here. Don't ever give up on your dreams. You can pause it for something. You can pause your dream for whatever reason until you find the one that sort of sits with you and you think, yes, this is going to work out well for me. So there might be a pause coming up through for you. You might need to take a calculated risk financially, maybe socially, Work-wise, family-wise, lovers-wise, I'm not too sure, but you might need to take a bit of a risk, a bit of a gamble on something. I mean, not gambling as in the true sense of gambling, but taking um, a bit of a um, calculated risk on something. Calculated risks are safer, of course, than full-out jump-off-the-deep-end risk um, because you sort of you only play what you can afford to lose. Does that make sense to you today? Because there's something definitely on the horizon for you. Some financial benefits here too. Um, so don't ever give up. Let me read this one to you. Even the tiniest ray of hope is very is a very powerful thing. Often it's when you least expect it that your miracle arrives. Even if that means making a risk, just taking a risk playing your cards right sort of thing comes through here just taking a tiny gamble um, 
because there's financial gain available to you financial gain there could be like news coming about an investment um, money that's been on hold for a while superannuation coming through um, a financial um, loan might be made available to you to do whatever you need to do with it <clears throat> so there could be some messengers from a bank manager financial advisor there could be money that you win on the gambling table if you if you're prone to a gambling um a lottery ticket things like that so definitely money coming through for you but you need to make a risk on maybe to receive it i don't know maybe you know some people like to play safe when it comes to investments your financial advisor will guide you on that don't don't ask me <laughs> um but there's something like that coming through for you. So you may need to change your your prospectus, um, that sort of thing coming through. But definitely could be leading to some travel, passports, visas, realising your dreams. You may um, want to change direction. You may want to, to relocate in your job, in your work, for someone, with someone. Um, there could be an overseas a connection here coming through for you. It should be all sort of in the pipeline now. It, you should find the results of it by the end of the year and you can play it out however you want to next year. So it's all in the pipeline for you. Spring next year is the time that things will just sort of culminate in a conclusion and one that you can either go from there to further afield or stay with it depending on your circumstances by spring next year could be coming through for you so how important is that for you really really well there's someone in your life or will be in your life who you just feel an instant connection to you just in such harmony it's like you're dancing together but no one's leading no one's following it's just sort of you're just doing and it just feels so good to be with this person, whoever it might be. It could be a lover, it could be a friend, it could be a, um, a family member. It could be just someone that you really, really care about. It depends on your circumstances. But they certainly feel in tune with you and you with them. And the change in seasons, definitely there's a change coming for you. It comes with the seasons, it comes with the change, and it's more likely spring more like this spring that something magical happens or culminates in a, um, something that you can either expand on or stay with depending on your circumstances so look forward to that let's clarify that then I'll give you a no, I'm gonna give you a focus card first then we'll clarify so what can you focus on the next eight and a bit weeks getting so excited for you I was sort of just all that information was just coming through so quickly for me in regards to the situation with you it's definitely an opportunity coming through for you so what's your focus card crystal let's read have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet so the next eight and a half weeks could be bringing that into focus for you. As clear as crystal, you can focus on that. You can see what it is. All those multifacets on a crystal are coming into alignment for you. Oh, how interesting is that? Let's clarify your cards, shall we? A Christmas bonus could be coming through for you too financially. Um, a raise coming through. Someone repaying a debt or you applying for a loan and being accepted comes through here as well. You might put out your resume hoping for a new job. That might come through here. That might be your calculated risk. You're looking for a new job while you're still in one. That's the best way to do it. 
I wouldn't recommend anyone leaving their job and then go looking. I would recommend people to stay in the job that they have and start looking while they're in it. <laughs> That's my opinion. Other people have a different idea, of course. But I think that might be coming through for you. Let's clarify those cards, shall we, for number two, please. Clarify the star. I can't get better than that. Wishes coming true. Hopes fulfilled. Don't ever give up. Wish upon your star. You never know what might happen. Don't ever give up. And if you feel as though you're giving up, yeah, okay, that's okay. You don't have to rush forward. Take your time and then replenish. So if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, that's okay. Just stop. Gather your resources. Relax. Chill. It's not a stop. It's a pause. <sighs> just try one more time. So never, ever give up. But just try. Keep trying. Each time you fall backwards, that's okay. Pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. And try again. There's no harm in trying again. We don't fail until we stop. Yeah, so keep trying. <laughs> Look at that, Ten of Cups. Yay! <laughs> really good outcome. Happiest, happiness, contentment, finally feeling that everything that, everything that you've done has been worthwhile. And count your blessings. Be grateful. Show gratitude. Share what you have if you can and reap in the goodness that's coming through for you. So never ever give up. Pause if you need to, regroup, dust yourself off. Cry if you need to, feel disappointed if you need to, but never ever give up because you've got the star guiding you, your angels guiding you to a fulfilling outcome. Let's have a look at your... Angel message, shall we? Hold nothing back from yourself. It's a long verse. I won't read that, but I will read the affirmation for you, shall I? The message. It says, thought, thought for today. I am honest with myself. I open the lid on my emotions and I view them with the same compassion that I would extend to a child. As I admit my innermost feelings to myself, I gain a deeper understanding and love of myself and others. So in that moment of wondering if this is all worthwhile, I'm thinking, how am I going to pull it all together? How am I going to start again? Be kind to yourself, think about yourself, accept your emotions, show compassion to yourself, ask for help if necessary, but know that you are guided and that you are on your true path. Okay, a card from here. Let's have a look. have a look and see what it says oops let's read the most important thing is to enjoy your life to be happy it's all that matters it's all that matters so I hope that's helped you Number two. Number three. Last but not least, lucky number three. Let's find out what might be possible for you, shall we? And then we'll clarify. On the focus for the month, or the two months and a bit that we've got left of 2023, as we head into 2024, 
it's an even year, even number year next year four five six seven eight so eight year I don't know what that means being an eight year Let's have a look at the possibilities, shall we? Hmm. <laughs> I love this card, it's so cute. I just love that card. Hmm. Home's going to be a focus, I think. Ooh. Relaxation, getting away from it all. Do you need a holiday? Ooh. Honeymoon, maybe. Choices. Dispute resolution. Got some good cards. Whatever's concerning you at the moment, whatever you're in disagreement with, with somebody else, or even with yourself. Sometimes we disagree with ourselves, sometimes we disagree with somebody else. It's about to be finalised. Whichever way the the dice rolls here with this one. I can't say one way or the other, but it's certainly going to be a dispute resolution. So it usually means whether you've got a mediator, it usually means that you both are going to feel okay with the outcome. <clears throat> so if there's something on your mind or you've been playing on playing with something that's sort of been bothering you or you've been fighting really hard with Especially with somebody else, and verbally, physically, <laughs> socially, and mutually, um, it's going to be mutually um, acceptable resolution. But it's certainly going to lead to choices that you'll need to make further on down the track, if not already. Hmm. If one door closes, another one doesn't open, <laughs> then climb out the window. Um, there's some way to make this decision, whether or not it's through what you already know or going a different route um, to the same sort of conclusion, but just changing the way you, you get there. But this decision needs to be made one way or the other. It's probably best for you to make it yourself, um, especially when this is coming up through here as well because you'd rather be happy with the outcome rather than having it made for you and then feeling resentful so if you can make a decision make it on your own under your own steam um, but if you can't open the door uh, then climb out the window and find a different route around the situation that you're facing at the moment but it's definitely going to be finalized and by the end of the year then that decision will then if it's not about the resolution and it's about the afterwards, um, it might take you into next year. Oh, but you've got love and kisses and romance coming through here. And you might be a bit tempted here. Mm. This romance might be a bit tempting. Ooh. Do you follow your heart and do you follow your passion? Or do you settle for someone that you know? And feel an affinity with or feel already comfortable with so there may be a decision to be made back in a romantic thing mm, flirting comes through here commitment comes through here you may be tempted to make a decision regarding that there could be divorce coming through here um, breaking up of a, another relationship so this one can begin but you might be tempted which is more important to you the short term or the long term short term or long term short term gratification can be really sweet and really nice um, but can it lead to a commitment I don't know it's up to you to decide that but mm, I don't know how that means to you I'm not going to go into that one because that's all private stuff for you to decide but that might be coming through for you mm, in the next few weeks what do you do? Do you stay home or do you go somewhere for a holiday? Home, relax, potter around the house, do some renovations or just feel at home and or do you take, spend some money and go on a holiday? 
that could be coming through for you as well. Depends on your financial situation. Do you stay home and enjoy the time out? Because some time out's coming through for you. Or do you go on a holiday? Again, the temptation is there. You might might decide to go on a holiday and find a holiday romance. <sighs> you might stay home with your committed relationship. I'm not saying no judgment here. I'm just saying this is a possibility. These are just possibilities. It's not written in stone yet. It's up to you to decide what you do. But it could be connected. Ooh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So what the focus is going to be for the next few weeks? What's the focus? Oh, these three fell out. These three fell out, so I'm going to shuffle them. And shoot, I'll close my eyes so I don't know which, what, which one's coming through. Choose one for you. The focus is spiritual growth. Spiritual growth. Oh, it could also be finally accepting your intuition. What does your gut tell you to do? Divine guidance comes through here as well. To lead you on the path of that's right for you. And gives you a satisfying outcome. But whatever it is, it's up for you to decide. Okay, I'm going to give you a guidance, affirmation, a thought. Okay. Open the gates of abundance. It's a long paragraph. I won't be reading that. I'll just be reading you the thought for today so your thought for today i open the gates of abundance now for i am receptive to the universal flow of prosperity i ask my angels to assist me when other people offer help i gladly accept hmm. okay one little letter love life Let's find out what might be coming through for you. Let's see what it says. says we're here to feel the joy of life pulsing in us now so live for the moment this could be what your temptation is to live for the moment live for what it is that feels good and right for you so long as it doesn't harm anybody else so long as everyone's a consenting adult <laughs> no judgment here um yeah i think that's what it's trying to say open up to prosperity thank you number three i hope that was helpful for you so thank you everyone for joining me today my angels your angels and that this brings you exactly what it is that you need to hear and brings you to an, uh, the ultimate conclusion of what it is that you need in your life at the moment. So thank you very much for joining me. And as always, so many blessings.